Hello again, YouTubers. This is your host, Black Samurai 7. I just want to make a video in response to a story that I just found out. And this is going to be another weak beta male simp story that I had to talk about on this channel. So, this weak beta male simp, his name is Noel Grulon. I'm going to have to pronounce his name like that. So, so right here in this story, so... This is another man that did not want to take the harshness of breakup. He didn't realize he just did not want to come in terms with the fact that his relationship is over. So he decided to cover her, this poor, innocent woman's body with gasoline. He took a lighter. He tossed the lighter at her and set her on fire. This is just crazy. And... I'm sad. I'm very, really sad that I had to make another one of these videos. I really, I really am sad about that. Because it seems to me that there are men, there are men in this world that don't want to live to be a man. They decided they want to go ahead and do something like this. And for the woman, if you are watching this video or to this woman's family, I'm very, very sorry that this happened. And the worst thing about it is this woman is pregnant. This woman is pregnant with his child. With his child. This is fucking crazy. I just don't understand why. Well, the thing is, I'm not trying to run nobody. I'm not trying to run nobody's life with this channel. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is just trying to give you some advice. That's it. That's all I'm doing here with this channel. And what you do, what you do with your life, that's up to you. That's totally up to you. But I just wish that people just... Just, just see how it feels. People really need to see how it feels before they actually do something to somebody else. How the hell would you like it if somebody sets you on fire? How the hell would you like it? How would you like it if, if this woman, if you were cheating on her and she found out about it, and you know what she did? Instead of going after the girl, she went after you. While you were laying down in bed and after coming home from work, you're going to lay down in bed thinking you had a wonderful day and all that other bullshit. And, and come to find out, you're waking, you found yourself waking up to your woman um, setting you on fire. She gets out of the bed, covers the, covers the bed in gasoline and sets it on fire. How would you like it if that happened to you? This is why people, you need to see how it feels to do something wrong to somebody else. It's one thing to do something wrong to yourself. Let's say if he set himself on fire. But still, suicide, suicide is still wrong. I am not for suicide. I don't wish anybody to go out and kill themselves. That I do not wish. This is why you really need to go see a therapist or a counselor or somebody. This is why I always say, you need to go talk to somebody about this problem before it reached it to something like this. And, and it's also a problem when people really believe that they can just do all this shit, handle all this shit on their own. This has got to be another prime example when men just think that they can handle every fucking thing on their own. When obviously you can't. When it comes to a case like this, a case like this, you really need to go get some help. Go get some help. And I'm going to keep on saying that in this channel. Go get help. Go get it. You go get help. I'm not going to say your life's going to be, um, that it's going to get better overnight. Nothing gets better overnight. Nothing does. You just got to just take it one step at a time. And like I said in my last video, my other video, about the man who freaking choked his little baby because his girlfriend didn't want to talk to him no more. Now I'm going to say that again. He, did, he could have talked to his parents. He could have called some of his friends. He could have went to a bar and just could have went to a bar and had some had a few drinks. He could have gone to the movies by himself or something. He could have done something to handle this. He could have done something to handle that to handle and face the harshness of breakup. And he also the thing is though, he also could have come to terms with the fact I have no girl in my life, but I have a baby. I'm going to have a child to raise. And sooner or later, I might end up meeting a woman, meeting a woman who has children, or meet a woman who has the patience of dealing with children and wants to raise and wants to have children of her own. He could have came in terms with that, and that could have possibly happened for him. 
But no, we had to go to do something like some crazy shit like this. And I'm going to say this again to this innocent woman. To this innocent woman and this innocent woman's family and friends and all her loved ones out there. If you're watching this video, I'm very, very sorry that this happened to you. And I pray, I pray to the almighty God above me that that baby grown inside this woman, that baby survived. I hope that this baby survives, that this baby will still be able to be brought into this world. And, um, and for the mother, that she'll, she'll recover from this and she'll get to a safe place away from that piece of shit. And I hope, and it, suck, and it sucks, that this man right here, he's still, he's still on the run. And I hope the police, I hope they find this motherfucker. I really hope they find him. They find him. They get him into custody and lock his ass up. Lock his ass up for life because that's what he deserves. And I hope just that. And I hope it comes to that. Now, that's all i got to say. Feel free to like, comment, or favor my video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later.